Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound Part 34. I think. I don't know. 30 something. Ish. I do that like being smart. That's a buffalo. And we are going down here. Now, there's this guy who was building before. I didn't have a problem digging until I found this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to do really anything. I always said I was going to get an ulcer by the time I was 30. I don't know. I don't think it'll happen now. It might, but I've chilled out a lot since I was younger, which is good. So this is actually... um. Oh, crap. This is later in the day after I recorded part 33. I think it's either part... This is either 33 or 34. I'm pretty sure it's 34. Um, I get the feeling we're going to kill the stink. Bef Damn it! I don't want to leave, though. So, bummer. Oh, bummer, I gave up my side caramel, too. Awesome. I totally could have used it in here. I totally could have used it. And you have to use healing beta for the poison. So, poison does not get healed with healing alpha. Don't waste the five. Just take the eight. Um, we have, Of course we don't have any food. Because we just went through this discussion, didn't we? Um... Bottle rockets and the bombs and stuff are going to be used on the moles. Also, uh, PSI Freeze is really good on the moles, too. I'll, I'll give a little life up to Nikki there. <laughs> Insert your own bad joke there. I always... The thing with this is I always tend to get lost. Like, I find the first three or four moles, and then there's always one I kind of forget where it is. So what I have to, what I have to do is I have to go very methodically through. I have to, if there's a fork in the road, I have to take one fork and explore that entire fork before I go back to where I was before. That's the only way, and I know where that goes, so I'm not going to go down there yet. I keep spitting at my screen. My goodness. I mean, I know I'm loud and all, but really. Like here. Like, I'm going to go this way first. Luckily, there's a mix of easy enemies and hard enemies in here. Like, these are the mad ducks we saw up in Winners. Now we can kick his guy's ass hardcore. Because we could beat him up when we had Jeff, much less. Um... Now that we have the three of us. So they kind of mix in the easy enemies and the nice enemies because the moles themselves are going to be relatively hard. So um, so I think what the strategy I'm going to have for the moles is I'm going to start off... Oh, damn it. I, I don't want to go down any ladders until I absolutely have to. Because I know there's some moles that are down... But I know there's like two, at least two that are on this floor. So, and there's where we started over there. So this is, I was saying, before I interrupted myself, this is, um, ooh, nice. They have no room. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Sorry, I have to hyper-focus on these uh, trading segments or whatnot. Um, this is after I recorded part 33. I got out for a little bit. I went bowling. Um, I went bowling. I sucked. Really, really bad. I was horrible. I average about... This is stuff you don't want to know, but I'm telling you anyway, so get over it. Right, you wouldn't be here unless you were somewhat interested in my life, because I like to talk about myself, and I've talked about myself for however odd many videos I've posted by this point. You're clearly used to it, you're clearly still here, and thereby, thereby. So, I'm about a 
my average is about 100 because I kind of I'm not very good at picking up spares. If I were, then I probably would have a higher average. And so I every time I walk into a bowling alley, actually post in comments if you would be interested in sometime if I go bowling by myself, me bringing a camera along or something and recording some of it for you. But um I sucked. I'm, I've got like a 100 average, which means I should get a 300 series, and I bowled like a 240. Like, that's pathetic. Really. That's that's really, really sad. Like, 60 pins under average? Are you serious? Uh, no, we're gonna keep going up. Like I said, this just... Oh, uh, damn, it's another ladder. There's one up there, I think. Perhaps? Aw, oh, man, I'm gonna get so lost. Talk to... Th you actually want an exit mouse at this point. I think I put my exit my mouse in, um... I wonder if you can have two exit mice at the same time. Because I have one in storage. Oh, good, we have some food. Too bad we didn't have that neon and a half ago, so we didn't have to get rid of our friggin' Psy Caramel. I think there's... Our first mole is over. No, it's just a present. Damn it. Secret herbs sometimes can revive you. But not all the time. So anyway, I got a 240. And I have a friggin' 300 average, which is bullshit. Or, I mean, I don't have a 300 average. My god, I'd be really good. When I normally get 300 series, I got a 240 series. Like... All the strikes I got, there was only one legitimate spare I got. Everything else was strikes. Or like a zero spare type thing. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ludicrous. I mean, there's like only a few things. Okay, I need to, uh... I want teleport. No. Hmm. All right. I don't want to waste the two. Now what do I do? Okay. Let me do this first. So the exit mass will bring you back to the beginning of a... We don't have life up gamma or healing gamma yet. We don't get that for quite a while. That's only going to revive SSOH. I was going to tell you more about my bowling stuff, but... This is kind of a... Uh, I don't want to use my cup of, cups of life noodles yet. Especially when I can get out so easily. If I couldn't get out that easily, like, later on there's a certain, um, dungeon place or whatever, where it's kind of a pain in the ass to get out. So, since it's a pain in the ass to get out, normally I like to save my life noodles for there. Now, granted, it's really later in the game, but... Hospital. Okay. I have $90, which is good. Do I have anything else I can sell? Oh, this is how I'm going to end the video. Are you serious on this shit? Oh, no. I want to save the food. Stag Beetle's not going to sell maybe $10 tops. Alright. Speed this up. Because I have no patience. So, $90. Let's see. So, back in Peaceful Rest Valley, the total to revive someone was $110. That's one person. So, we're going to need at least $220. i am going to pull out $500. And see if... I'm. Oh, I'm sure $500 will cover it. I'm sure there's no way it can be more than $200 a person, which would be 400 
So I'm going to put in $200 and see if 390 does it. It might not. It might. I might need to whatever, and then I'll end up. Oh shit! I'm running out of time. Oh no! No! I am going to meet you back in the desert. Everyone healed and freshened up. So, so fresh and so clean. Because I don't know where the fucking hospital is. This is all being sped up right now, which means it's going to be super sped up. Because that's about 11 minutes. Okay, 150. That's good. Alright. Check that out. 300 bucks. Bye!